Amen. Gorgeous. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Hallelujah. Praise God. Gorgeous. Praise God. Evangelist Andrew Kelly here. Yes, with the King James Bible, the Gospel of Christ, the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. Amen. Praise God. Gorgeous. Praise God. Uh, amen. Praise God. There's those who don't believe. Amen. Praise God. There's lots of unbelief out there. You know, praise God. That's it. There's a lot of unbelief. That's why that uh, the preachers are looking for your uh, money. Amen. They're looking for your pocketbook, but they're not looking at all unto Jesus. Amen. Praise God. They're not looking for the salvation of your soul, for the saving of your soul. Amen. Praise God. That's it. Uh, preachers out there today. You know, they're out there to to uh, endorse uh, all types of doctrines and to endorse the Pope and uh, the Pope. The Pope endorsing them with his money, and the Pope uh, no better than these preachers out there, uh, idolaters, liars. You know, antichrists. You know, out there to get your pocketbook, get your money. You know, praise God. said the Pope. You know, uh, the uh, biggest idolater and liar, you know, an antichrist out there who's the mother of all corruptions and uh, feeding the corruption and keeping the system going. You know, first God, as I said, God, she's got uh, the man having no faith at all to get in the Bible. Man has no faith at all to read the Bible because these preachers on TV and radio and the Internet and church down the street have not told you, will never tell you to read your Bible. And they'll tell you that God loves you no matter what you do, what you say and all this uh uh, garbage. It's just, just rudiments of the world, not after Christ. You know, first God's declaration, first God, because there's no scriptural basis for that. You know, first God, we have no scripture to say that. You know, first God, Jesus said, if man love me, you keep my words. And then John 14, you know, first God, keep my words. You know, first God, that if, you know, it's all conditional. The love of God 100% was conditional from Adam and Eve to the last word in Genesis. You no, know, first God, Adam and Eve had one thing to do that was not to touch the tree you know, the fruit in the middle of the garden, the tree in the middle of the garden, the tree of life. You know, you can touch every other tree. You touch the orange tree, the pear tree. You know, first guy, you touch the apple tree and the uh, banana tree, but you can't touch any other trees in the uh, midst of the garden. Adam and Eve, you know, that's it, that uh, unless you touch it, you shall surely die. And, uh, and, you know, that's it. And uh, they went on and on. We don't know how long. They went on and on until the serpent came and bewitched them and gave them another gospel. You know, first guy, how many times is the serpent trying to uh, try to bewitch me? You know, first guy, uh, being the next child of the devil, the next sinner, you know, for his God said he's going to try to bewitch me and get at me because he knows what uh, I'm looking for, uh, like, uh, you know, at times, and uh, forget it, you know, God rebuke it. Hey, you know, it's, it's, it's it, it's uh, written, you know, for his God, for his God. I know when the blessing comes from God because we've got the anointing. The Bible says, you know, for his God, it which teaches us in all things, you know, for his God, glitch, for his God, it's so there you go, there you go, for his God, Leah. The devil's the same yesterday, the same forever. And first God, the devil wants you to go and uh, fall after his ways, and you'll try all sorts of things, and the Muslims, and the Catholics, and the Joel Witnesses, and the whoever. You know, first God, to please your flesh. You know, first God, to, to get you whatever involved with whatever. You know, first God, glory, first God, to send friends and family to, 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 uh, uh, get you into uh, whatever, into a mess, into a bind. You know, first God, glory, first God. That's why Jesus said, in me ye shall have peace. You know, first God, not as the world giveth you, but uh, my peace. You know, first God, that's it. It's a uh, peace you'll never have uh, anywhere else. You know, first God, glory, first God. And this is the problem that we have out there. That there's no peace with these Christians. That's why the God now endorses the homosexuals and, and endorses all sorts of uh, all sorts of abominations out there. I'll endorse this one and that one, so forth and so on. You know, is it a... Uh, Endorsing that, and look what's the outcome. You know, cancer. You know, uh, homosexual death. You know, first God, the wages of sin is death. You know, first God, cancer. You know, heart uh, strokes, heart failures, and large hearts, and uh, diabetes, and all these uh, things, sicknesses coming out there because mankind's uh, unbelief to the word of God, and men who are born short of the glory of God, who are still dead in their sins and trespasses, who will not at all come out and repent to do what the Bible says. Don't forget, you know, first God, glory, first God. We've got to get out and do what the Bible says, glory, first God. So, first God, we just can't go out and uh, do what we feel like. You know, first God, it's that uh, Christians are doing what they feel like and believe what they feel like, and they got a cafeteria of salvation. They pick and choose what they believe. You know, first God, Peter said that there's no prophecy of the scriptures of any private interpretation. So, for glory, first God, we've got to get in the Bible. You know, first God, glory, first God. Not just believing and believing and believing and believing what the Bible uh, preachers at the Bible colleges say, because uh, forget, you know, that's absolute garbage. You know, first God, it's, they, they got uh, uh, glitch, first God, and they got uh, uh, these idols out there and feigned words. You know, first God, they were feigned words to make merchandise to you. They speak evil of the truth. You know, first God, they speak evil of the word of God. You know, so they, they, they're calling uh, Jesus God and uh, all this stuff. And uh, the one funny preacher on the radio, you know, he says, is that Jesus God? And, uh, Jesus, and he's sitting on the right hand power of, of the Father. Well, Jesus God, why would he uh, split himself up for? You know, why would Jesus even say, all power is given unto me? If he had already had the power, why would he be given to him if he already had the power? That's why, you know, fulfilling the scripture, he, him, you know, I think people have to go learn some English here. 
and uh, before you read the Bible, because there's he and him, there's I and me. So he and him, we're talking about another person in Isaiah. He shall be called Wonderful. He shall be called Counselor, the Mighty God. Because why? Not the Almighty, but the Mighty. Because now all power is given unto him, and that they don't put all things under his feet. You know, verse God, glory to God. It's what the, firstly, the uh, Christians of the hour don't read the Bible, don't know their Bible, don't care for the Bible. They just care to know what's on the TV or in the newspaper or to, or to uh, whatever, you know, the political agenda down the street. Uh, you know, that I'm... Uh, Norm McLean's uh, cousin, you know, first goes at the people who run through it, you know, and uh, cousins and, uh, uh, and and great uncles that were Presbyterian ministers, and look at the mess of Presbyterian churches in the, uh, today. You know, first God's sake, first God's sake, it's all a big mess now. I mean, they're all endorsing the homosexuality, endorsing this, endorsing that, endorsing whatever stuff comes down the street. You know, first God's sake, first God's sake, they're all just uh, endorsing stuff that they should not be endorsing. You know, first God, that's it. The Presbyterian gospel is just Presbyterian gospel. You know, first God, they don't even know their own doctrines themselves. They're just so confused. You know, first God, that's it. Uh, they're so uh, bewitched. You know, first God, that's it. They're so uh, blind, led by blind leaders of blind all these years, and there you go. You know, first God, Bible college is lead, blind leaders lead the blind. You know, first God, no marvel for Satan himself is transformed as an angel of light. It's therefore no marvel's minister shall be transformed as ministers of righteousness, whose sin shall be according to the works in Second Corinthians chapter 11. So we have no Bible school here. We have no Sunday school here. I don't have a, a brunch for you because uh, uh, a meal for you. You know, if a man hunger, let him be at home. And uh, his uh, you know, belly is their uh, uh, shame. You know, his uh, you know, glory is their shame. His belly is their God. You know, first God, people have belly gods or beer bellies or pot bellies or whatever to go to church to feed the belly. Don't you know, forget, you know, first God, we're here to feed your soul. You know, first God, Jesus said, I'm the bread of life that came from heaven. You know, first God, it said, not the bread that Moses gave. No, I am now. First God, the words that I speak because the greater the Moses is here. A greater than Solomon's here. Man, first God. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. And all that come to me, you know, shall never hunger. First God, except my Father draws you unto me, ye cannot be saved. So first God goes, first God. So that ends uh, Jesus' God doctrine because Jesus said, except my Father. And said, except me. So, you know, people have to go learn some English. Like I said, the he and she and uh, I and uh, and uh, I and uh, myself, you know, and uh, Ours and us and ours and uh, you know first God goes first God let's make man in our image. They didn't say let me make man in my image. No, let us plural. Let us make man in our image. So people just have to go to learn some English. I had one serpent here on the internet uh, uh, last year. He said to me, "Oh, God's just talking to himself." Oh, really? Well, I guess he has a lot to talk to himself. I guess he must be so lonely up there just talking to himself. You know, that's it. Uh, we're not. You know, they're just making. Uh, heyday of the scripture, you know, especially when the Gabriel, uh, the uh, angel Gabriel came to Mary and said, hey, Mary, you're going to have a child and he shall be called the son of the most high God. So, praise God, glory to God. So, this is it. So, glory to God. So, we got to start reading our Bible. You know, for God, it's simple as that. We got to start reading this King James Bible, the Gospel of Christ, the King James Bible. You know, praise God, forget about what's going on out there. Yes, the homosexuals out there are kicking and fussing. They, they were, uh, Kicking and fussing last week on my internet site because I posted about uh, how that uh, you know that the NDP here in Alberta, which is the left wing party, win and uh, said, yeah, you know that's all Solomites and homosexuals and whatnot. The people uh, vote from one time you know it was a conservative province. Now they're all voting for these uh, left wing groups that are just going to give them money and so forth from freely and all that. And yes, that uh, kings and queens are established by God and so are leaders. You know, first God glory, first God. That's true. But first God, but what they do, you know, it's just an uh, abomination. You know, first God said that they're just uh, doing evil and that's it. You know, God will take them out in his own time. But you know, that's it. But we got to, you know, first God to preach the truth, you know, point out these things. You know, first God, how are people going to know? You know, glory to God. Without the man of God to tell the truth, you know, first God, glory to God. So, praise God. So, that's it. Glory to God. So, that's it. That, uh, you know, first God, that, uh, you know, yes, God may put in their power, you know, to fulfill the scriptures. First God, so glory to God. But we still got to speak the truth. You know, first God, glory to God. We got to still, you know, uh, be, uh, you know, speak the truth according to the Bible. And that's it. Glory to God. So that uh, homosexuality and uh, gay marriage, you know, lesbian marriage is an abomination. You know, period. You know, bisexual or homosexual or whatever sexual, you know, forget transsexual, forget. It. They're all abomination. You know, first God, glory to God. God made one man, one woman. Didn't make uh, two men. Didn't make two women. One man, one woman. So this is the problem we have for Christianity is that they don't believe the Bible. They stop believing the Bible and they start believing uh, uh, the church down the street's brunch and they start believing the world and they start endorsing the picnics and the suppers and the dinners and they start endorsing the bowling alleys and the church camps and the sing-song service of the church and, and uh, so forth and so on. And the Bible says uh, that uh, St. John 9, 31, Now I know that God heareth not sinners. And the first God goes, first God. Without Jesus Christ and his word, uh, there is no God for man. He's just an illusion. And the first God, just like an oasis. And the first God, the Muslims are no better. You know, they just bow down, kiss the ground, reading their funny book, uh, the joke book called the Koran. Forget it. You know, first God goes, first God. We're here to read the Bible and do what the Bible says. Goes, first God.
So you mean for the covenant belongs to Isaac, not to Ishmael. You know, for God, it's what the Muslims, you know, twisted around because they got it from the Bible and uh, uh, they're Muhammad prophet, of, uh, a pervert, and uh, and the Antichrist, uh, you know, the sit that uh, terrorist uh, that uh, you know is just uh, perverting the, God, the gospel. You know, for God, they're destroying his own things that uh, they say that uh, Muhammad went to heaven for. Forget it. he just went out of his own mind. That's all he went. And of course, for God could never get uh, close to heaven. Then Mickey Mouse can. You know, for God, I believe Mickey Mouse first because you know, that's it that uh, he don't tell a lie. You know, for God, I tell Christians. Uh, the ones that believe that Jesus is God, you know, that's it, that I believe the devil's in the Bible, then I'll believe what the demons said today, because our ancestors were telling the truth, because thou art the Christ, the Son of God, they knew who Jesus was, you know, for his God, said, God, for his God, so this is it, that they knew who Jesus was, and this is what uh, Christianity don't know, because they don't read the Bible, at least the uh, demons had uh, the uh, foresight and the foreknowledge to know who Jesus was, you know, we know who art thou, thou Son of the Most High God, we know who you are, you know, leave us alone, and we know who you are, you know, for his God, said, God, for his God, so there you go, so that's it, that the Christian Christians don't, you know, sit and uh, how can Satan, uh, you know, uh, cast out Satan? If the house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. So whenever these people try to come up to Jesus God, well, I tell them, look, the devil's no different. I'll believe your ancestor demons who were believing, who were preaching the truth, that were the Christ, the Son of God. You know, for his God, then the ones that said, Paul, I know, and Jesus, I know, but who are ye? You know, for his God, said the ones that who who knew the truth. You know, for his God, those the ancestor demons in the Bible knew the truth, unlike today's lying demons who don't know the truth. You know, for his God, and they said they want to cancel the, uh, Jesus with Jesus. You know, they want to cancel. Bible with Bible. Well, forget it. You know, for God, the Bible will cancel that out. It cancels your unbelief, your faith, your uh, your your uh, ways of uh, wickedness, your ways of uh, living out. You know, for God's sake, glory for God's sake. That's why you have to repent, you and believe the gospel. Glory for God, Leah. So in Colossians chapter three, you know, for God, glory for God. We have, uh, um, you know, for God, that's it that uh, we uh, read here in. Uh, Colossians chapter three, and uh, for God, glory for God, it's not getting. Uh, uh, better out there, uh, you know, for God, I'm uh, sorry, Colossians chapter 2, I meant to say, sorry. Um, you know, for his God, then, uh, you know, for his God, then we we'll get into Ephesians, sorry, Colossians chapter 2, uh, verse 8. You know, for his God, just looking at uh, chapter 3 for some uh, reason, you know, for his God, said, God, for his God, that, uh, uh, but, you know, for his God, uh, chapter 2, verse 8 is what it's meant to say. And for his God, beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. There's, got, there's a lot of philosophy out there, a lot of philosophers out there, you know, trying to about the gospel of Christ. They don't, they don't understand it, like David Maines or Billy Graham. They, they don't understand what the fear of God is, so they got to come up with their own uh, idea because they don't read the Bible. I mean, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of all knowledge, you know, for God, beginning of all wisdom. But they don't understand what the fear of God is. That's why they got to read their, their, uh, their funny uh, uh, pamphlets and their funny uh, books, you know, buy this book by Mr. Billy Graham or buy this book by Mr. Uh, Maines or Mr. So and so, Mr. Uh, Swagger, you know, for his God, that's it. Buy this book. Buy, 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 buy. And instead of buying the Bible, you know, for his God, said, come buy uh, without price. You no, know, for his God, Jesus said, freely as you receive, freely give. You know, for his God, glory, for his God. So the Bible, you know, said, for his God, that's it. Uh, you know, there's no, uh, you know, you can get free anywhere uh, at some of these local churches. The King James Bible still, I guess. Uh, it's very rare, but uh, still can get churches or a bookstore, you know, for five bucks or whatever. You know, for his God, said, freely as you receive. Freely give, you know, for his God, glory, for his God. So the word of God, the gospel of Christ, the King James Bible, you know, for his God, glory, for his God. So we got to, you know, do what the Bible says. We just can't afford to do what we feel like. You know, so we're not uh, here preaching in a cafeteria of salvation, pick and choose what we feel like or do what we feel like. Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds of the mouth of God. Christians just pick a scripture and say, that's my say all, end all. You know, First John 1, they say all, end all. Romans 3, 23, you say all, end all. And they don't even understand it. And uh, John 3, 16 is our say all, end all. And you know, the Bible. And this is what, uh, and it's not what the Bible preaches at all. You know, for God. So this is why people have to go back to learn some English because they don't understand anything else. Uh, in Psalm 23, Romans uh, 3, 8, and uh, 3, uh, 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 Romans uh, 3, 23, and uh, uh, Romans 3, 10, I should say, and uh, John 3, 16, and uh, so forth and so on. First John 1, 8, so for God, God, for God. So if you wait, let any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. You know, so it sounds like that uh, we could be spoiled. You know, for God, said, God, for God, spoil you. You know, Jesus preached, and he said, this is that, uh, you know, no man shall pluck you out of my hand. You know, so long as you're rooted in the word, you know, for his God, goes for his God, that's it, that uh, uh, you're rooted in the word, no man's going to pluck you out, no matter what philosophy comes your way. You know, for his God, but the devil's around to steal words out of your heart. The devil's around to really uh, take you out of his hand and really make you mess up. You know, for his God, goes for his God. And this is what the, the Jesus only, once saved, always saved, so-called people, you know, they use that scripture, well, no man shall pluck, uh, uh, pluck him uh, out of my hand. Well, that's right, uh, no man shall, but what about the devil? You forget, did he die or something? Did the devil die? Absolutely not. You know, for his God, he's a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Because what the people forget, you know, they don't even 
and read uh, Acts chapter 5, you know, it said by Ananias and Sapphira, it's two people who were saved, you know, who were recalled of God, and then they decide to, to, uh, to cheat God and to, uh, to do something wrong, and uh, boom, that's it, they were uh, dead, they died at the altar. You know, don't expect them to make heaven, you know, for God. So once saved, always saved uh, means is that, uh, you know, basically that uh, you can't lose your salvation is what they're trying to tell you. And then they say, so if that's, that's the case, then, uh, well, once saved, always saved, I can go out to murder a uh, whole bunch of people, steal, rob, uh, drive, uh, you know, uh, a car over the ditch, steal a few cars, uh, you know, that's it, uh, shoot a few police officers and go to prison for like uh, a couple of years, but don't worry about nothing because I'm once saved, always saved, you know, it don't make no sense, it's an absolute abomination gospel, so, you know, praise God, praise God, praise God, so there you go, so praise God, so, you know, is it that, uh, so that's it. That's what people don't read their Bible. You know, they'll come up with all sorts of funny ideas and all sorts of funny ways. And the Bible says is that uh, we are not them that to uh, uh, you know uh, draw back to petition, but to save them of the souls. You know, for the Bible even talks about very clearly and very uh, you know very uh, strongly that uh, you know it said that after the, you know that uh, this is that Peter said after they have tasted the uh, good word, the uh, knowledge, of the word of God, and, and after they've uh, uh, you know, escaped the pollutions of the world and done all this and that and so forth, and then turn back, you know, just like a dog that's with vomit and the, the pig that's through the wall and over mire, you know, for his God, it, uh, there's no more uh, sacrifice for sins, you know, for his God, the Peter said it would be better for them that they, uh, that uh, they had not known the way of righteousness and that for they had known it and turned from the holy command that was once delivered on them. You know, for his God, Paul says it's that uh, there may be no more sacrifice for sins, you know, for his God, glory for his God, so there you go, glory for his God, yeah. So what we have the problem with Christianity is, is that uh, they still have a chance, you know, for God. There's some Christians out there that know the truth and still going on. And Romans chapter 1 says is that, you know, that's that they once knew God and they uh, glorified an idol's God, but they uh, served the creature, even more than the creator. They served the sun, the, the, the sunshine, you know, the, the, uh, the, uh, they served the, uh, uh, the sunshine or the... Uh, uh, or the uh, peach parties or whatever, then uh, the creator does that peach, and then the, the creator of that sunshine. So there he goes. Praise God. I don't want to serve the Son of God, Jesus Christ. You know, that's it. Praise God. So without the Son of God, there is no God. No, praise God. No, people try to take scriptures out of context, try to twist them, try to make whatever, you know, heyday. And that's why I stuck going on to them because of those sites, there's just no peace. You no, know, praise God. There's just no, absolutely no peace in those, uh, on those sites. I mean, people just want to argue with you. And uh, uh, the Bible says we're not here to fight flesh and blood. We're not here to, you know, to, uh, they just want to wrestle the scriptures because they want to make you uh, proselyte, they want to make you their own um, merchandise, you know, praise God, glory to God, instead of putting you in the gospel, glory to God. So let's start reading the gospel, praise God, let's start reading the Bible, praise God. There's no Sunday school gospel, no Sunday school picnic, there's no holiday gospel. How be, how be they honor me with your lips, the hardest far from me, teaching in vain the doctrines, commandments of man, in Mark chapter 7, and praise God, glory to God. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy. And vain deceit. You know, they're going to use vain deceit. You know, they're going to use words. You know, for God, words. You know, we're going to get that into Ephesians here. They're going to use words. Vain deceit. They're going to, you know, come up with a story. Their idols have spoken vanity. They're going to come up with some story about why this idol, you know, for God, like the great Diana. Which is just, we're going to get into that as well, which is just rudiments of the world, not after Christ. You know, for God, it's with uh, uh, Colossians uh, 2 8 here, for God. For in him, for in Jesus, the Son, you know, for God, all the fullness of God, and fullness of God had bodily. And ye are complete in him, which is the head of all principality and power. Because the head of God, the head of uh, um, Christ is, you know, God. And the head of a uh, uh, woman is the man. The head of a man is Christ. And the head of Christ is God. So there you go. So ye are complete uh, in whom ye are all circumcised with the circumcision made without hands. And putting off the body of sins and the flesh by the circumcision of Christ. So for his God, so God dwelt in the temple made without hands. So for his God, so glory for his God. Buried with him in baptism, wherein also you are risen with him through the faith of the operation of God, who have raised him from the dead. So God didn't raise himself from the dead, he raised his only begotten son. You know, for his God, uh, Romans 3, verse 8 says that God uh, sent his only uh, begotten son, you know, and sit in the world that, uh, you know, sit that uh, in the likeness of sinful flesh. You no, know, for his God, flesh for his God. And the Bible says, for he have uh, raised him from the dead, praise God. So there you go, in Romans chapter 8, verse 11, that's the same spirit that rose Jesus from the dead to be in you, praise God. So uh, was this, uh, who did all that? It was God, you know, God, because Jesus said that I can do nothing of my own self except for given to me by my Father which is in heaven. The works that I do are not mine, but the Father which dwells in me, praise God. The works I do are now displaying Christ, glory to Christ God. So this is it, praise God, glory to Christ God. So that's it, praise God, glory to Christ God. And it says, that, uh, and it says right here that uh, uh, in you being dead, past sense, you being dead in your sins and uncircumcision flesh, have he quickened together. You know, 
and they're not still quickening together like most Christians. They sin and repent. They haven't been quickened enough. and just quickening with the devil. It's about it. With having him, with him, having forgiven all your trespasses. Praise God. Isn't that nice that Jesus forgave all my trespasses and sins? The Bible says he nailed him to the cross. Second Corinthians 5.21 says he was made sin who knew no sin so that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Man, glory to God. And through the Son, no, for his God being sin. Having spoiled the principalities and powers, so made it show openly, triumphing over it. Let no man uh, judge your meat or drink in respect of the holy day of new man, uh, new moon, and Sabbath days, which are shallow things to come. But the body is a Christ. You know, for God's shadow, which are these things the Old Testament, you know that they had to put blood in the doors, shadow things to come. You're celebrating this, this day, feast day, that day, this day, and so forth. And, uh, you know, is it and the killing animals? And it was a lot of sacrifice. That would be a male, a sheep without uh, blemish, you know, or a goat, you know, for his God. Said, and uh, and uh, these were just shadow things to come. But at the end, you know, finally, now Christ is the end of the law of righteousness, the body, you know, for his God, is the body of Christ, you know, for his God, is it. So finally, the end, you know, Christ, the body is the end, and, you know, for his God, is it. Uh, so Christ, so praise God, glory to God. So that's it. So Christ is the end of all that. You know, praise God says he fulfilled the law, uh, the prophets. You know, praise God. That one guy says, well, Christ uh, came to fulfill the law and the prophets. Well, that's right when he was on the face of the earth. But now he said, all things concern me have an end concerning the law and the prophets. And all things are fulfilled. You know, praise God. And Christ came and he fulfilled all that. And now he became the sacrifice. You know, praise God, glory to God. So this is it. So this is what the Christians don't understand. You know, they're still looking at Jesus as walking the face of the earth 200, uh, 2,000 years ago. I'm walking and looking at Jesus as we'll see him as he is, not as he was. You know, praise God. For Christians are still looking at Jesus as he. Uh, as he uh, was, I'm looking at Jesus as he is. You know, for he's got four holes. You know, for he's got and uh, has a uh, a wound on the side. And he told that Thomas, "Hey, you know, touch the nail prints." You know, he said, "First God, first God." So there you go. So first God. Amen. First God. So first God. Then he talks about the horns of his hand. You know, first God in in the Old Testament. First God said that uh, the horns you know, had the light, the the holes. You know, first God said had light shine through. First God in New Jerusalem. First God. First God. So there you go. So first God. These are they which were willing in the house of my friends because Jesus, you know, was wounded. You know, first God was uh, crucified. You know, first God in Israel and it was by his own people. You know, first God. First God. His own people crucified him because they didn't want to believe him because they were rather stick with Abraham with Moses than sticking with the truth. You know, first God. First God. Jesus had no guile in his mouth, you know, praise God, and that's it, there's no God from his mouth, unlike Christianity, they got tons of God, tons of blasphemy, you know, praise God, blasphemy, the Holy Ghost, tons of God in their mouth, you know, that's it, and uh, we're told to walk in his footprints, you know, praise God, he that saith, I know him, and keep not his commandments, is a liar, so we have a lot of Christians who say, claim they know Jesus, and yet they don't even know what the Bible says, you know, praise God, they say, I know Jesus, they only know him by name, but they don't know him by his uh, works, they don't know him by what he's come to do, and what he's here to do for you, you know, praise God, they don't know him by the word, you know, praise God, glory, praise God, it's reality, you know, praise God, glory, praise God, glory. So let's uh, read this here in, uh, in Ephesians. You know, God, God, God. So we read here in uh, uh, Ephesians, and it says, this is at, uh, verse 6, since we're talking about the rudiments of the world, you know, for his God, it's a philosophy, you know, for his God, uh, uh, that uh, Sam has spoiled you through philosophy and being deceived, uh, being deceived, the rudiments of the world, not after Christ, you know, for his God, God, God. Let no man deceive you with vain words. For because these things come the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. You know, first God. John the Baptist uh, preached in John chapter 3. You know, it says that, that uh, he that believeth on the Son have everlasting life. He that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. And here, first God, glory to God, said that our God's consuming fire in uh, Hebrews uh, 12, uh, uh, last uh, scripture. You know, first God, glory to God, for you. So the Bible says right here that let no man deceive you with vain words. You know, first God, rudiments of the world. That's it, buy my mug, or or, uh, or God loves everybody, or we can't stop sinning, or we can't be perfect, can't be, can't be, can't be, can't be. Well, my Bible says we can't be. You know, for God, the man of water are sitting there like a wart in a pickle in the, in the church pew, not saying anything or doing anything. You know, for God, because they don't read the Bible, they're not cursed to read the Bible. You know, if they got some sorcerer or some, uh, like the Pope or his buddies or whoever, to preach the word, and man, it's instead of a man of God. You know, for God, God sent the prophets, the pastors, the evangelists, and the prophets for what? The uh, perfecting of the saints, the teachers, you know, praise God, said, glory to God. So, let no man deceive you with vain words. For because these things come with the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience, be not ye therefore partakers with them. You know, praise God, be not. You know, praise God. Then Timothy, it tells you, from such withdraw thyself. You know, praise God, it said, be not partakers with them. For you were sometimes in darkness, you were sometimes in sin, but now you are the light and Lord. Walk as children of light. Jesus said, You're the light of the world. You know, for his God, glory for God. So we got to be light, you know, for his God, to the gospel. You know, for his God, not light to, to, to go on to uh, corruption. You know, for his God, glory for God. That's it. So, for his God, so that uh, 
Uh, darkness now return of light. For the fruit of the Spirit is uh, all goodness, righteousness, and truth, providing what is acceptable unto the Lord. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. For the shame to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. You know, there's nothing hid that should not be made manifest, Jesus said. Amen. It's reality. Glory to God. So let no man deceive you of vain words, because uh, these things come with the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. It doesn't come to the love of God like most Christians. Most Christians believe that God loves everybody. Well, I forget there's no such scripture in the King James Bible as God loves everybody. Without Jesus Christ, there is no love of God, period. You know, Jesus said, without me, you can do nothing. You know, God. So it's, 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 it's the way, the truth, and the life. Praise God, glory to God. And uh, read here in uh, uh, Ephesians, you know, praise God, glory to God. It said that um, Paul, you know, praise God, that's it, uh, was uh, uh, preaching to uh, uh, these uh, people about, uh, about the doctrines that uh, that's it. You know, I had to stop them because they uh, was preaching a a, a, a a sermon, and that uh, that uh, he was telling these people, hey, you know, that's it. That uh, you guys got it all backwards. You know, first God said that uh, you know, so we're not gods. We're not. We didn't fall from Jupiter. You know, first God said. Uh, uh, you know, that's it that uh, you know, that's it that the, the rudiments of the world, you know, praise God, glory to kind of And there, uh, uh, in the Acts fourteen eight, and there sat a certain man at Lystra, and put in on his feet, being a cripple from his mother's womb, who never had walked. The same heard Paul speak, and steadfastly behold him, and perceiving that he had faith to be healed, and said with a loud voice, Stand upright on thy feet. And he leaped and walked, you know, for his God, just like the person with the policy in Mark chapter 2, Jesus preached, you know, for his God, that says, Sunday sins be forgiven. And that guy got up and walked, you know, for his God, said, after he heard, you know, the uh, voice of Christ, you know, for his God, and everyone else was, well, who can forgive sins but God only? You know, for his God, only Jesus without sin, you know, only God without sin, well, forget, you know, for his God, for his God, Jesus said that the Son have power on the earth because the Father loved the Son and he gave him all power to do what he's uh, speaking, you know, for his God, do what he's doing, close for his God, you read that in John 5. And we read in, 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 uh, in Mark chapter 2, you know, it says that Jesus will be either our sins free forgiven or rise up and walk. You know, first God, you know, the Son of Man have power and nerf as well. You know, not just my Father, but He gave it all to me, praise God, because the Father loved the Son. Praise God, glory to God. Man. When the people saw what Paul had done, they lifted up their speech and saying loud uh, speech from Laconia, the gods are come down to us in the likeness of men. So, you know, in the rudiments of the world. You know, now they're in the rudiments of the world. They called Barnabas Jupiter and Paul Mercury because he was the chief speaker. And the priest of Jupiter, which was before their city, brought oxen and garlands unto the gates, and would have done sacrifice with the people. Which when the apostle Barnabas and Paul heard of, they rent their clothes and ran in among the people, saying, crying out, Sirs, why do you do these things? We are also men of like passions with you, and preach unto you that ye should turn from these vanities unto the living God, which made heaven and earth and the sea and all things that therein, who in time past suffered all nations to walk in their own ways. Nevertheless, he left not himself, without witness, and that he did good and gave us rain in from heaven and fulfilling seasons, filling our hearts with foodness and gladness. With food and gladness. You know, for it's good having therefore, you know, food and rain and let's therefore be content, Paul says. And with these things, the uh, uh, scarce restrained they, the people, that they had not done sacrifice unto them. The first God's question is God's of Paul. You know, for his God said that same serve why do these things we also may have like passions with you and preach to you that ye should turn from these vanities unto the living God which made heaven and earth and sea and the things that they are in. You know, for his God question is God. Jonah said, I fear the Lord that which made the heaven and the earth. You know, for his God said, the, the heaven and the dry land. You know, for his God question is God. You know, for his God, uh, who in time past suffered all nations to walk in their own ways. You no, know, first God, Paul, you know, we, we read further on, that uh, Paul told the, that the people in Acts chapter 17 that God made all men to dwell on the face of the earth. First God, glory to God, kind of time has suffered all nations to walk in their ways. They left to live, and then he told people uh, in that same uh, chapter uh, that he's commanded all men everywhere to repent. First God, because the name Jesus, you know, first God, sent his son, he sent his son, and he rose him up from the dead. You know, first God, now he's the way to the Father. First God, glory to God. So when Paul speaks, it's always in Christ. You know, first God, what Christians are so bewitched because we're talking about God. We got a lot of good God te uh, speakers, God preachers. But what about Gospel of Christ? What about Word of God, uh, uh, Gospel of Christ, King James Bible? You know, uh, uh, Jesus Christ, the Son of God preachers. We don't have many of those. Praise God. And uh, those things, uh, things scarce restrain the people that they have not done sacrifice. You no, know, praise God, glorious God. So 
the golfer's guard. And there came to there certain Jews from Antioch, and according to who persuaded the people, you know, for his guard. Now he got some preachers in the crowd who didn't like this, you know, for his guard. So now that's it, you know, that's the sacrifice, you know, they were going to do, you know, it's like no matter what you do and say God loves you. And then this guy Paul's coming around and trying to tell and try to tell us the opposite, you know, for his guard and said that uh, now we're going to lose our money, you know, for his guard and said because we have rule over these people and we're going to lose our money, we're going to lose our pocketbook because this guy Paul, well, we can't have this guy around, you know, for his guard. We want him dead because so we can now uh, make merchandise, you know, for his guard, uh, um, you know, for us continuing on for lives and let them continue on their tradition as long as we're, we're filling our pocketbooks. But and there came certain Jews from Antioch and Nicodem who persuaded the people, having stoned Paul and drove him out of the city, supposing he had been dead. Happy the disciples stood around him and he rose up and came into the city and the next day departed with Barnabas to Derby. You know, first God, God, first God. So and when they had preached the gospel to that city, they had taught many and returned again to Lystra to and Icorum and Antioch, confirmed the souls of the disciples and exhorted them to continue in the faith that we must through much tribulation Enter into the kingdom of God. Well, how much tribulation is the Christian suffering? You know, first God, where's the tribulation? They're, they're, uh, they, you know, they're not suffering nothing. You know, first God, Christianity, they're, they're upset. They don't get the right gift at Christmas, not the right tie, not the right tree, not the right whatever. You know, first God, that's it. Uh, they're upset because they don't get the right or whatever. You know, first God, they're fussing and they're kicking. You know, so they didn't get the right bunny, they didn't get the right chocolate. You know, first God, so then they're going to fuss and kick and, uh, and, and allow their sins to dwell in them and uh, do whatever. You know, first God, sick, this is, this is reality. You know, first God, they're not at all facing any tribulation, the Christians, because they're endorsing the homosexuals, they're endorsing all types of touch of sin, instead of telling them to repent, to clean up, you know, for his God, repent, you and believe the gospel, clean up, you know, for his God, because you're going to be destroyed like Solomon and Gomorrah unless you don't clean up and repent and start getting in the Bible, because you're clean for the word which I have spoken on to you, John 15, verse 3. And then, praise God, glory to his God. So this is it, so that, uh, that, um, uh, that, uh, that, you know, so much tribulation, you know, this is an enter the kingdom of heaven. But now, you know, with the preachers today using vain words, using their philosophy and vain deceit, you know, praise God, they're stopping you to enter the kingdom of heaven in Matthew 23. You know, praise God, let's, let's, let's go there quickly. In Matthew 23, you know, where Jesus was talking about, uh, uh, about how they stop uh, you from entering the kingdom of heaven. You know, praise God, glory to God. And it says right here in Matthew chapter 23, Verse 13, but won't you, scribes, Pharisees, and the hypocrites, for you shut up the kingdom of heaven against men, for you neither yourselves go in yourselves, neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in. You know, it's said that they're not at all interested in going in themselves, you know, for he's gone into the kingdom of heaven, for he's gone, glorious God. Won't you, scribes, Pharisees, and hypocrites, for you devour widows' houses and pretense, make long prayer. Therefore, ye shall receive the greater damnation, praise God. So there you go. So that they're, they're not at all, you know, suffering those people to get in. They're just telling people, you know, God loves you. And they know they can't make it. So, you know, this is, I mean, the, the priest or the pope or the, or the cardinal or the whoever, the Jesuit priest, they can't make it with their phony idols, with their phony doctrines, with their God, with their doctrine of devils and seducing spirits. They can't not make it. You know, praise God. And there's guys that have to repent, they have to get rid of their, their uh, filth. And there's guys that have to get rid of their merry idols, they have to get rid of the Joseph statues and all this, all this junk, you know, for his guys, nothing but junk, you know, for his guys. The Bible says that with feigned words that they make merchandise to you, Peter. False teachers, false prophets, you know, for his guys. And, and uh, Paul says that in the latter days, is that the scriptures, that they're going to make uh, fairy tales, that's going to be called fables in the latter days. Now, now they got now they got to go to the movie theater because the preacher has a good movie uh, called the Christian movie, an ungodly Christian movie, and they call it. God's not dead, or do you believe? And I was preaching so strongly against it that this is nothing but rudiments of the world, not after Christ. We're told to order our steps in the Word, not order my steps in the world. But the Christians, you know, that's, they'll fall for anything because uh, they're, they're, they're so bewitched and so perplexed and have a strong delusion to believe a lie because they receive not the love of the truth whereby they might be saved. And that's why they're stuck in Sunday school churches, uh, stuck with uh, uh, these dead sing songs preachers, dead with all these uh, uh, preachers who, uh, who, uh, who don't at all uh, preach the Word, don't at all uh, raise the dead, or don't at all. Uh, heal the sick, don't at all uh, make the blind see, lame to hear, you know, praise God for Jesus, because he gives power in my name to lay hands on the sick, they shall recover, you know, to the long list there in uh, Mark chapter 16, and, and uh, that uh, uh, Jesus says that they shall drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them, you know, praise God, said in my name, you know, praise God, that's it, that they shall lay hands on the sick, in my name they shall cast out devils, you know, praise God, said how many devils are being cast out in movie theaters? That's so what one guy says to me, well, you know, that, that Jesus said, uh, let them alone there, you know, that's it, uh, you know, he's casting out devils to uh, you know, if they're not uh, for us, he's not for us, is uh, not against us, he's for us.
so no first cause. So no first cause. I, and I said to him, I well, thought, okay, well, how many devils are being cast out in the movie theater? Not many. Looks like you're entertaining them. You know, first cause, of course, first cause. No, the Bible says, "It love not the world, neither the things of the world." And the Bible says, uh, "Carnal mind is sin and death." You know, first cause, in Romans chapter eight, and that he is a friend of the world, and enmity toward God. Of course, first cause. You think the Christians are God's friends? No way, far from it. They're not Christ's friends. You know, of course, first cause, they're synagogue the same which claims they're Jews and they're not. You know, first cause, they're not even closer to God than Mickey Mouse can or or this Muhammad or Allah or whatever it comes up with, and the uh, Muslims, you know, and, uh, being no different, being a bunch of liars themselves, and Antichrist, you know, they claim that God needs no man. Okay, God needs no man, then why do you have Muhammad? If God needs no man, why don't you just stay at home and let God take care of everything? Why do you have to go up and blow up a few buildings? You know, first guy looks like uh, he's, uh, you're trying to get his attention. He's not paying attention. He's on a long journey talking or sleeping or doing or whatever. You know, first guy goes, first guy this is the problem we have out there with Christianity, being a bunch of liars, being a bunch of uh, hypocrites, being a bunch of... Uh, uh, Antichrist, you know, first God, the uh, scribes and Pharisees, you know, first God is sitting there trying to, you know, uh, pin that on me, first God, because, well, forget, because they don't understand the scriptures, they got to try to pin something that they think they understand, but they don't, you know, first God, they twist the scriptures to their own destruction, you know, first God, as Peter told about Paul, he's writing about his writings, that the people are just twisting the scriptures to their own destruction, and instead of it all endorsing in the scriptures, getting in the scriptures, and then doing what the Bible says, you know, first God, first God, people are not interested in the Bible, they're interested in the bottle down the street, and they're interested in the liquor store, and they're interested in the how much the bottle of booze costs, and how much this costs, and how much that costs, you know, so far from so on, instead of uh, the saving of their soul. You no, know, for his God, for his God, you know, that's it, for his God. You know, so Jesus said this, is that, uh, you know, that, uh, that uh, you know, to lay down the cost, you know, for his God, for his God, it's going to be costly. For his God, it's sin when you lay down your soul. Because Jesus said, who serves to save his life shall lose it. Who serves to lose his life for my sake, the gospel is the same, shall save it. For his God, for his God, it's, it's costly. For his God, it's, 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 it's going to be costly because, you know, said, man, are going to go against you. Man, are going to want your life. You know, for his God, it's it because the devil, being a liar, and emerge from the very beginning. You don't want this truth on the face of the earth. You know, first God, first God, it's very costly. You know, first God, to get in the Bible because uh, you know, first God, because it involves your life. First God, it's, it's, it's even more. Amen. First God, it's costly that way. First God, but it's, uh, uh, but it's the costlier if if you have uh, you're walking in the flesh, serving Christmas, serving all these dead idols, serving all these uh, dead things from the Pope instead of serving Christ. You no, know, first God, first God. So we're here to serve Christ and not the Rubens of the world. We're here to serve the Word. You no, know, first God, as it's written. First God, first God. We're not here to serve the bartender. We're not here to serve. Uh, uh, Christians uh, uh, sin. We're not here to serve uh, their imperfection or their unbelief. No, we're here to serve the Word of God. We're here to serve. You know what Paul says: If I should be the servant of men, then I should not be the servant of Christ. First God, Christ, God. But we're here. What Jesus said: I come to do my Father's will. I come to do the will of Jesus, the Son of God. First God, Christ, God. I'm not here to do you know man's will. And I come to be here to endorse the homosexuals or endorse the lesbians or endorse the murderers, the fornicators, the whoremongers, the whatever. There, no, first God, the ones who cannot make heaven. I'm not here to endorse you to say God loves you. No, I'm here to endorse the Bible, the Word of God, and to tell you to clean up. You know, first God, repent you and believe the gospel. First God, first God, you must be born again. You know, first God. So that's why that uh, I'm not well liked. You know, my ministry, the gospel of Christ, the word of God, revival. You know, first God says it's not well liked because we're preaching from the King James Bible instead of the NIV Bible, some funny Bible that's perverted. You know, first God, so forget. You know, first God, first God, man has to clean up. Man has to get in the Bible. Man has to turn around. You know, first God, from the philosophy, the rudiments of the world, not after Christ. You know, first God, first God, man says, and we have so many examples in the Bible how men are always going after the rudiments of the world. Men are always going, doing evil in the sight of God. Men are always following after men. Men are always, you know, going after whatever, so forth and so on. So the gods of this other nation and the, all these other uh, things and all these other ideas, so forth and so on. And then there's a way that seems right unto a man, but all the end ways is death. And those praise God, that's it, the Lord. You know, praise God, to start reading the gospel. You know, start reading my word. You know, praise God, to start listening to my son. And then praise God, because my son's coming back. Yea, that's it, the Lord. My son is coming back. And he's looking for people with faith. And then praise God, yea, there's a lot of people on the face of the earth whose faith they've given up of. Yea, they have have uh, despised my word, yea, they have uh, put away the word, yea, they have uh, given it up on that faith, because they have been bewitched, they have been deceived by the uh, by the terrors, of, by the terrors of the wicked one, and then, yea, they have been deceived by the devil, by that wicked one, but yea, I say to the Lord, I am with you always, when you continue on in my word, when you continue on in my grace, and yea, I will be there to be a father, and yea, yes, uh, that, uh, you know, if he's got to chastise you, make sure you're going the right way, and yea, I need more people, yea, I want more people, you know, to fight up against the Holy One, because yea, and then, this is the, the world to Today is lies and work witness, and yea, that the that's it, the Lord, that this whole world out here, you know, if he's got that's it, this whole world, you know, I see it, that's the circle of the earth, yea, that it's all lying in wickedness, and yea, there's no 
true freemen preach in the streets anymore. Yea, I see what the vain deceits, I see what they do on the, in, the, in the TVs and the churches and the houses. Yea, I see what they do everywhere. And uh, yea, I have not found righteousness. Amen. Praise God. Yea, you have, have my servant here to preach the word. Yea, thus said the Lord, that the word is being preached through my servant. You know, praise God, through my righteous servant to tell, to tell you to turn around from the philosophy, turn around from your deceits, turn around from your wicked ways. Yea, you know, and that's it, that the, the devil out there, you know, trying to uh, take over the world. He's a prince of the other year, but yea, thus saith the Lord, I'm here with you always. Yea, my word is nigh in your mouth. Yea, go on into my word. My, my word is uh, in nigh in your mouth. And yea, thus saith the Lord, to go on with my son. You know, thus saith the Lord, his word. You praise God, my words. You may praise God uh, with the words of fruit I give my son. And yea, that heaven and earth shall pass away, but uh, my words will never pass away. Yea, this gospel of Christ, the King James Bible is true. Yea, listen to my son. Yea, listen to my servant here preaching this word of God. Amen. Glory to Jesus God. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus God. God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for your son, Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. So that's it. Praise God. Glory to God. You know, praise God. So God, get in the word. You know, praise God. Glory to Praise God. That's it. That's it. To, to repent and to give up your sin, give up your philosophy, give up your deceit, give up your whatever your abomination you got going down the street, your movie theater, cast away. You know, praise God. And start getting into the gospel. I will set no wicked things before my eyes. The Bible says, Praise God. Psalm 101. So praise God. So start reading the Bible. Start believing the Bible. You know, Jesus said, He had believed on me as the scripture said, Elvis his belly shall flow, shall flow rivers of living water. John 7. The praise God. Glory God. So, amen. Praise God. Glory to God. So, you know, praise God. Jesus told people, go and sin no more. Paul says, awake to righteousness and sin not. Amen. John says, these things are written on you that you sin not. Get in the Bible, the King James Bible, the Gospel of Christ, the King James Bible. Amen. And sin no more. Sin not because Jesus is coming back. For holy people, you know, people uh, who are doing his will. And when you're not doing his will, forget it, praise God, goes, praise God. You're doing the man's will, and then that's it. And that's uh, the way it's seen right unto a man, but also in ways death. And you know, praise God, goes, praise God, and Leah. So, and then praise God, evangelist Andrew Kelly. Evangelist uh, Andrew Kelly telling you once again, get in your gospel, read your Bible, the King James Bible, the gospel of Christ. Amen, hallelujah.